There is a hidden history that's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world, and that's why I am on my trail. But wait, there's more. UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. But wait, there's even more. There is a supernatural world, and sometimes it manifests to people like you and me. I talked about this in our previous show, where this gentleman encountered what appeared to be like a jellyfish-type UFO in the sky. So we're going to interview Francisco Carrera right here. Uh, it's actually from number three, the UFO film, which will be released fairly soon. Uh, I'm on the last, well, some of the last polishing. It's, it's, it's ready to go. It's really close. And we're excited about this. But you're going to see a clip from that. So it, why is it three and one? Because number one is the UFO sighting that happened decades ago, which corresponds to the gentleman that we had on yesterday who talked about seeing that jellyfish, okay, in the sky. Number two, it's an ancient site. It's called Portugal's Stonehenge. It's older than Stonehenge, England. And number three, um, the whole idea of that menher being on the trail of a Nephilim, uh, it's, it's like right there. It's right there. That jellyfish is, has been carved onto that standing stone that men hurt. It's, it's really incredible. So we'll get into this and so much more after a word from our sponsor. History is being made thanks to a new study. There is strong evidence to suggest collagen is one of the best supplements in the world to help reduce the appearance of skin aging. Researchers found the supplement helped improve the skin elasticity and hydration of over a thousand people. That's why I've been using it. Folks, I take it every day. Other products do not contain the same level of the five critically important types of collagen for bright, even, and younger looking skin like my favorite collagen does. It combines the right types and the right amount of collagen your skin needs to help rejuvenate its elasticity. Unlock your secret to healthy aging with this amazing powder. Health with LA is notorious for selling out due to their high demand. If you order now, you'll get 51% off free shipping and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Get yours while you still can by going to, that's www.healthwithla, or visiting the link below. So this is the first time this has happened where we've got a, um, a coalescence, if I can use that word, a convergence of, of all three shows that we do here on the trail because the site is ancient, old, megalithic sites, thousands of years old, older than Stonehenge. Of course, I'm speaking of Cromac Amandres. You'll see that in just a moment. We've got some wonderful drone shots. And by the way, this is all in number three of our UFO series, which will be coming out very soon. Then we've got UFOs are real burgeoning and not going away. Well, just decades ago in Portugal, an entire school and a professor and, and all these people came forward and they looked up and, and there's this jellyfish-like object in the sky. Guess what? And this is conjecture on our part and we admit that readily, but there's a jellyfish that's carved on one of the standing stones. I mean, it's, it's absolutely incredible. And then of course, supernatural confrontation. Well, that is supernatural. The fact that you're looking up and seeing some sort of an object in the sky which should not be there. So here's the clip from uh, UFO, our UFO series. It's number three, and it should be coming up soon. We will be doing a pre-sale on that. Not quite yet, maybe by the end of the week, I'll have it up, we'll see what happens. And we'll probably run the trailer here very shortly. Here's the clip. In 2019, Peggy and I traveled once again to the incredible country of Portugal. We met up with our good friend Francisco, who's head of Exopolitics Portugal. Of course, Francisco was featured in our second UFO film. Francisco took us to an ancient megalithic place. It's called Portugal's Stonehenge. The title of that place is called Cromec Almendres. What you will hear from Francisco is absolutely incredible because something happened thousands of years ago that appeared over that site and yet again in modernity. It's an amazing story. Here's Francisco to tell us. I'm here with Francisco Correa, who is a, uh, the head of Exopolitics Portugal. Um, you've been studying UFOs for literally decades, and there was a sighting. We're very close. This site here in Kromach is very close to the town of Evora. Tell us what happened. Well, back in 59, there was this um, UFO sighting. Uh, in the middle of the town, there was this, this school where the principal of the school was a man of science. He liked to do astronomical observations with the people. He promoted those observations during the weekends, etc. And one day, uh, 
the, some students came to him, he was giving classes, and they saw that there was something, um, something in the air that they could not explain. So everyone goes to the, to the patio of the school, they see a bright light up in the sky, uh, he went to pick up his, his um, a telescope, a okay. small telescope. He mounted in, in the patio, so he saw it, the students saw it, uh, all the people, workers at the school saw so it. So this object lingered in the sky for a this period object, of time? Yes, he, he stayed there for some period of time, half an hour later. Wow. This, this was like at midday. Okay. So mid, um, 30 minutes later, uh, a bigger object came up. Uh, according to the, the written testimony of this, this principal, uh, Professor Joaquim Guedes do Amaral, there was this, this almost like a, a jellyfish. Wow. It looked like it. And suddenly the objects went away and these filaments, golden filaments that people used to come to call angel hair, it started to fall from the sky. People were amazed uh, to see this and it fell for a long period of time uh, it's curious that in that precise day early in the morning like 100 kilometers to the north uh, back then the captain uh, Tomás Conceição e Silva was preparing for a flight he was a captain of the Air Force the Portuguese Air Force he was with some colleagues he was preparing for a flight this was in the newspaper Flying disc dropped something above Evra. This is the newspaper. That's pretty cool. Later in the day, at midday in Evra, it fell for over four hours. And let me stop you right there. If we go back to Fatima and the research that we did in our Fatima films, we know that something fell on the crowd that exactly. day some, that was some, very similar some, to this. Yeah, exactly. People were calling them flowers, but right. they were filaments. Okay. There were other um, uh, other periods of time during history where these filaments were recorded as well. And so the question I have is we've got megalithic sites here, ancient megalithic sites. And again, this site can only really be appreciated at Cromelk from the air. Mm. I'm standing in the circle, but I don't un really understand what it is I'm looking at until I'm up in the air, and then the, the configuration comes into view. And that makes me wonder if there's a connection between this ancient site at Cromac and other sites in the area to the UFO phenomenon in 1959. Well, not only in 1959. There are a couple or like a dozen sites, uh, prehistoric sites, uh, dolmens, uh, this, this type of cromlech, and maybe um, what we think there, there's some kind of energy emanating from, from Earth uh, that may drain the, uh, capture the attention of, of this, what we don't know what they are, right. you know, these, right. these UFOs, but uh, maybe they are attracted to this. this. It, it's interesting, and we'll go off a signage because we can't really see it here. But one of the menhirs, one of the standing stones that is, that is in this circle shows an object which looks like a jellyfish. I just wonder if there's any connection between what's here thousands of years ago, chiseled into the rock, and what people saw, an object that looked like a very large jellyfish in the sky. So we'll go up to the signage and we'll take a look at that. So the signage here at Cromlech is very interesting. And we'll go to the standing stone here, this menhir which basically shows this object, and it's very faint and very hard to see right now because it's, it's so old and it's been weathered. But what we see is a jellyfish-like object that's been carved into the stone. And Francisco, what I find interesting is that the people who observed that second craft that appeared over Evora uh, in 1959 saw something that reminded them of a jellyfish. Now, I realize this is conjecture on our part, but there may be a link here. Your thoughts? There, there could be a link. We don't know. It's speculation, but there could be a link. There may, in the past, be uh, or could have happened several times, so the people felt it in a need to carve it in the stone. So yeah, it could have happened. Maybe they are summoned here. <laughs> okay. Uh, being by the, the the energies, the telluric energies mm -hmm. that are in this place, maybe there's a kind of portal. We don't Ew. know.
So Francisco, it appears that this rock is the rock that has the carvings in it. It's very, very difficult to see. It's very faint. Your thoughts? No, it's, it has been so long, so many thousands of years that we don't know, but it, it looks like there's, there's these the tentacles, the tentacles and way. the eyes, yes. and it's very similar to the one in the map. So there you have it, folks. It's a clip from, of course, our, our up and coming number three, the third installment of uh, the whole UFO phenomenon. What I love about this is what we, <clears throat> what is happening in antiquity is being revealed in modernity. There is a link between these ancient megalithic sites and what we see happening now. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Remember, we'll see you on the air or in the air.